Welcome! In the next few videos we're going to look at how to use an external Excel list within your Survey2Go surveys. And so in our example we're going to um, use a, um, a list of airports, about 500 to 600 airports where every airport has an ID and a name and we've added a few more attributes like the country and the city and some GPS information about the airport. And so we're going to use this Excel list in our examples. So step number one would be to import this Excel list into Survey2Go. And to do that, we're going to head over to um, the parts in the studio called Additional Data Lists. And we're going to right click this and create a new subject store, which is an additional data list. So we're going to browse over to the file and we're going to select that and click on import. And then it imports the different columns. And we just need to make sure that our columns are here and make sure that the ID field is marked as a user tag. If the system does not automatically identify the correct column to use as a unique identifier, um, you can choose any one of them, click on them, and um, check this is user tag option right here. But by default, anything with ID, the system will recognize as the actual unique identifier, and the name will be uh, um, associated with the actual name of the uh, uh, list. So we're going to give it a name. In our case, it's going to be airports. And we're going to click on create. And as soon as we do that, we see that the store was now created. We're going to click on OK. And our airports list should be available right here. And if I double click on that, you should see the exact same Excel list just imported into survey to go In the next video, we're going to see how to actually access this information from within the survey, both in a simple way and also in a much more complex way. So stay tuned for the next videos.